Hi, how are you guys doing? Today's video, we're going to feature this pedal from Blackstar. This is the Blackstar Department 10 Dual Drive.
I want to thank City Music for passing this pedal for review. This comes under the uh, Department 10 series of pedals that's been released by Blackstar. So far, they have released three pedals, uh, the Boost, Overdrive, Duo Overdrive, and Duo Distortion. And all three pedals feature ECC83 triode tube within the pedal. Now, on the front panel, you can see that uh, the tube is situated right here, and there is a safety bar here so that you won't get burnt when the, when the pedal is in effect. Now, you have a two-channel, henceforth the name dual channel. On each channel, you can dictate whether this is a crunch channel or an overdrive channel with a dip switch on both channels. So you can dictate both as overdrive or both as crunch, or a crunch and overdrive. And you have a, uh, a drive knob and a level knob for each channel. Now on the bottom, you can see there are three uh, bands of EQ, low, mid, highs, and there's the ISF control, which like the amps from Blackstar, that switches between American sound and the British sound. Now, you have two foot switches where you can kind of activate either channel. And uh, the best part of it is there's this middle dip switch here where it gives you three settings. So this is what I'm going to talk about. On the right-hand side, you have the input. On the left-hand side, you have two sets of output. One uh, is a normal output to an amp, so this functions like an overdrive pedal. The other one is a cap rig out, meaning it has a cap simulated output. You can hook this up to the main house, to direct line, you know, whatever. And on the back, you have a send and return. So this can function as a preamp. You can actually send and return your other effects and then loop it back in. And then you have a DI out, which also features a uh, cap sim. Then you have a USB out. Now this is where things get really funky and really interesting. Now the USB out will, con uh, will be connected to your computer and you have to download the architect software from Blackstar. The architect software can be downloaded from Blackstar and it gives you more options for this pedal. As you can see, uh, there is an option for various mics. You can choose whichever mics you want. There are six mics for you to choose from, and uh, you can also uh, detail how the mic has been positioned on axis, off axis. And then you have so many cabinets right here. I'm counting like there are six, 24 cabinets for you to choose from, uh, ranging from a DI out to a uh, a 412, you know, so a modern 412 or a, a UK 412 and all that uh, selection that you have. And then you have an EQ section where you can fine tune your tones uh, and save them, you know, into the three slots that has been lotted here, all right? And of course, you have the option uh, of the simulation of tubes. You have the 6L6, the EL34, and the EL84. And of course, uh, the rest of the controls like resonance and presence and even drive for your power amp section. And uh, you can even have your room, like, you know, you want a little bit of slapback, you know, whatever uh, fits your purpose or rather fits your desire of the sound that you want to create. So the software does help a lot uh, to give you more options into this pedal. And uh, basically the software is for you when you're hooked up to your, your digital audio workstation, to your interface where you just want to record directly from here into your door. And that will give you further options as to how you want the guitar sound to be like. Now one thing to note about this pedal is that if you hook up this pedal to your normal 9 volt supply that supplies power to the rest of your pedal, it gets a little bit noisy, especially on a high gain mode. But if you were to use this independently with they are included power supply, the noise level goes down substantially. And I don't know what's happening, so maybe this power supply is just meant for this uh, range of units that are tube driven. Something to, you know, to take note of. This is nothing new, there are a lot of units that does the same thing, but uh, Blackstar has given it a, 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 a different uh, tonal quality to it. I guess the capsim is really good because um, I've heard the capsim from this amp and it sounded really nice and dandy. And this is of no exception. The capsim sounded really good. And the fact that you can change your, your rig, you know, your, your, your cabinet size to your mics and all that just further enhanced your options available. So um, I think this pedal is a great pedal for those who have a studio like mine who doesn't want to have an amp, a big amp. And you, it's just another sound option, another sound source, another uh, effect source. So you can just hook this up directly and you're good to go for recording. For live, this can uh, be as a, uh, an effects pedal, like, you know, an effects pedal before the amp 
or you can run it like a, a, a bi rig, like a, like, a, like a dual rig, like you have this hooked up to uh, your FOH and then you have your other amp mic, so you can have like bi amping sort of way. Yeah, so that's an interesting uh, concept, you know, to, to, to toy around with. And then you can find that your sound gets a little bit bigger. <laughs> right? Um, this panel is not cheap. All right, I'm going to put a price down here. Now, the panel is available in City Music Singapore. So if you're in Singapore, just uh, go on down and try it out. All right? let me know what you think about these pedals and about the series of pedals under Black Star Department 10. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and join this channel, subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of the patrons to support this channel. I really appreciate it. I want to thank all my patrons for their love and friendship. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself. Au revoir.